we're going to be going over how to use our staking tool set to tighten up these three different types of cannon pinions. One of the obvious signs of a loose cannon pinion is it's really easy to pull off the center post. It should have a lot of tension or friction so you can't pull it off so easy like that. And since your watch hands attach to the cannon pinion, a loose cannon pinion can cause several problems. One problem could be that your hour hand moves but your minute hand doesn't move. Another problem you could have is your watch is running and it's winding and setting satisfactory, but the hands don't move at all. So it needs a good tight fit on that center post so that it turns along with this post so that your hour hand and your minute hand that are attached to the pinion turn too. Like these watch hands that are connected to the canyon pinion are doing here. So I'm going to get started with the stumps and the punches that we'll be using to tighten up these cannon pinions. Now this stump is called a crotch stump. And this is the only stump we'll be using today. You'll notice it has a little V slot in the center of it. Now if you go to my channel page, you'll find a whole playlist of videos that are really organized. So you can easily find different videos on staking tools and watch repair and other videos related to pocket watches. One of the punches we'll be using is named the Peen Punch. Now for this one special cannon pinion I'll be doing, I'll be uh, using this uh, special punch. It's called a roller closing punch, a four-sided roller closing punch. Also be using this tapered shaft as a handle. I'll slide my cannon pinions on it and that way I can maneuver them around as I'm working on them on, with the staking tool set. So first we're going to center our die plate up with our centering punch. That's all this punch is used for is to center up your die plate and that way we get everything in alignment and now we can put our uh, stump that we're going to be using in the die plate. If you like these videos, how about subscribing to my channel and also hit that like button. So we got our stump in and we're getting ready. We're going to start on our first cannon pinion. Now this style of cannon pinion is the most common you'll see on some of the older 18 size pocket watches. And it's a full tube style cannon pinion. Now you see how I use that tapered shaft. I use it as a handle and it helps me hold that cannon pinion so I can work on it. Now I'll be using this peen punch to make an indention on this cannon pinion. Now I take the cannon pinion and rest it in the center of that stump that I'm using. Here it is from a different angle so you can see a little bit better how it rests in the center of that stump in that V slot. So we take the peen punch and rest it on the cannon pinion and with a few light taps with my 3 ounce brass hammer it leaves a small indention which in turn tightens up the cannon pinion. Now we should have a good friction fit with our cannon pinion on our center wheel arbor. Now our next cannon pinion we'll be working on is a little different. It's a split tube cannon pinion. You find this style on most of your later year pocket watches. And we'll be tightening this one down about the same way we did the other one. The only difference is we'll be peening down that piece of metal that's on the top. And there it is, a tightened down cannon pinion. Now this next cannon pinion is off an old Keywine pocket watch. 
Now these are a little bit different because the tube is a lot thicker, the metal is a lot thicker, and it's uh, harder to put any kind of indentations into it. So one way I've seen it done, and it works pretty good, is to uh, use the closing punch just like you were closing up a roller table on a balance. Just find a hole in your staking tool die that the tube of the cannon pinion will fit in. Invert your cannon pinion and use your centering punch to center it up. Then take your four-sided closing punch Place the closing punch on the bottom of the cannon pinion. Hit the punch with a few light taps with your brass hammer. And when you're done, you have four little burrs on the bottom of the cannon pinion that will help friction that cannon pinion and tighten it up as it slides over the center arbor. So suppose you've tightened your cannon pinion and they're a little bit too tight and you need to open them up a little bit to slide on the arbor. What you're going to have to do is get you a set of these broaching tools and use them to open up the hole that's inside the cannon pinion. What you do is find the broaching tool that's the right size. You slide the cannon pinion over the broaching tool and you hold the cannon pinion in your hand and twist the broaching tool in one direction and keep spinning it around and it acts like almost like a little file and it'll open that hole up a little bit. You want to go slow with this process and check it on the center arbor of your pocket watch to make sure you're not making the hole too big because if you make that hole too big you're going to have to go through the whole process of using your staking tool set and closing the hole up again.